what we are discussing now is the complete uh, evolutionary history of horse it was described by Orthneil Marsh and this is this is based on all the fossils which have been found we have written the scientific names of all those fossils here their common names also the epochs that means in which period or uh, division or time period of the earth did they exist their age height and we will take up some more important things but before we talk about this we'll discuss in short geological time scale Geological time scale is actually designed by dividing the history of earth into six eras. So the complete history of the earth has been divided into six categories or six eras let us write down their names, understand them and then we'll take up the further thing because we need to understand what we mean by these epochs. The first one was Azoic era, then is Archaeozoic, third is Proterozoic, fourth is Paleozoic, then Mesozoic and the last is Cenozoic. These last three are considered as the modern eras. That is these three. These are fourth, fifth and sixth are considered as the modern eras. And they are together further divided into periods. And these periods are further divided into these epochs. So when we are giving these names of these epochs, we are actually talking about the further divisions of these periods. And only last three eras have been divided into periods. So this complete history of earth tells us, uh, for example, when we are talking of Azoic, that means there is no living form. Only the earth originated and the life was not there. And slowly and gradually. So this is the most recent uh, era in which we are uh, present today. And the last three have been divided further. Those segments are called periods. And the periods are further divided into epochs. So these names which we have written here, they are actually the division of these Periods. So now let us take up this and we will add certain in, in more information in this tabular form. So let us talk about this table. What exactly is mentioned here? The first fossil which was found was of Eohippus. Its common name is Dawn Horse. It was found in Eocene epoch. It existed about 60 million years ago. And the height was approximately 28 centimeters. This is the basic factual information which we have written down. The most important things which we have to discuss, those we will take up now. Fingers, there were four and toes were three. And if we talk of five digits or five fingers, there were only four. That means one must have reduced into a smaller structure. So in this case, first digit was reduced into a very small structure and that structure is known as splint. So it is known as splint bone. In case of toes, three were longer. That means out of five, two must have gotten reduced into small structure. So here, second, third and fourth were functional or they were big first and fifth changed into splint bones molars that is the teeth which are responsible for 
grinding. Those molars had very small crown. So this crown part was small. So there was a small crown. And these teeth basically were grinding teeth. So here it was working as grinding tooth. So the molar were or let us write molars were grinding teeth. So what was seen in case of the first fossil or from the first fossil the information that we have apart from the age which was detected by carbon dating and the height which was estimated seeing that fossil and why we have so much of information because all these fossils were found in a pretty much good shape. So what information we have here that in the fingers that is in four limbs there were four digits which were developed one that is the first one was reduced into a small bone called splint bone amongst the toes out of five two got reduced into splint the first and the fifth second third fourth toes they were long enough and the teeth which were there that is the molars that we are talking of they had very small crown and from the structure it appeared that these teeth helped in grinding. So this helps us understand that these organisms probably ate something and using these molars they used to grind that food. The second fossil which was found was of Mesohippus. Common name given is intermediate horse. It existed in Oligocene epoch. Its age is believed to be about 40 million years. That means they existed about 40 million years ago. Height approximately 60 centimeters. And now in this case, that is when we come to the fingers, there were three fingers which were functional. That means one more changed into a splint bone. In the first fossil, only first was converted into splint. Here, first and fifth changed into splint bones and in case of toes it was exactly same that means second third and fourth toes were long and first and fifth changed into splint bones teeth the molars were also same so the two things remained the same only one change and change in the size of the organism to understand this, let us draw a small diagram of this splint thing here. Suppose this is the toe that we are talking of. This is the third one and let me use different colors so that we are able to see. This is the fourth. Here is the second one. That means two, three, four. They are long and the fifth and the first one, the two black lines which I'm drawing here, they have reduced into very small bony structures. So the first and the fifth are reduced into splint bones, but the second, third and fourth, they are long. And the same thing is in the case of toes also. Let us come to the third one now, that is Merrick Hippus. Commonly it was called ruminating horse, Neocene was the epoch in which it existed and it existed about 25 million years ago. Height about 100 centimeters. Now there was a major change which was observed and the change was that we said four fingers were functional. Here we said three fingers were functional. In this case only third was functional. So only third functional. That means the second and fourth, they also changed into splint bones. So if we make that diagram, the third one became very long. The fourth one which we made here, this was the fourth, it was changed into splint. And the second one which we made here, that also got changed into splint. First and fifth, they were anyways highly reduced. So what was found was that second and fourth.
fourth they changed into splint bones and only third became very long and functional so only third was long and which ones changed into splint the second and fifth changed into splint so this is how the structure looked and the same thing happened in case of toes also that means only one became very long and functional and that was the third one second and fourth got reduced so this was the fourth which changed into splint the second one also changed into splint third was very well developed so here also only the third toe was developed and here it was only the third finger which was developed and second and fourth changed into splint bones here so here also second and fourth changed into splint bone first and fifth they were pretty much lost now coming to the molars in the first two categories or first two fossils we found that the molars had short crown and looking at the structure they appeared like grinding teeth now from this that is the third one that is meric hippus the tooth became big the crown was very well developed it became long so the crown was long the roots were also long and from the structure it appeared that these teeth were grazing teeth they were also chewing but for the material which was consumed was of grass or plant type so these were with long crown and these teeth were called grazing teeth so now this was a change which we found out in case of pleohippus that is the next category again only the third was functional finger and third toe was functional teeth were also same only difference was that the third digit became even longer and stronger so only third and it became long and strong same happened here also and teeth were also with long crown and grazing teeth and in the modern day horse which is uh, the scientific name is equus the modern one which existed in pleiostene sorry started uh, like uh, its evolution began here and it is found to date probably it evolved 0.5 million years ago the height is 150 cm in some books it is given as 120 to 150 cm but we know we have seen the modern day horse so we can um, assess the height of that here same thing only third digit and it became very long and strong so if we see the four legs or the hind legs of the modern day horse what we find is only the third digit which has become exceptionally long and that is the one which is helping these animals run so here also third digit and the teeth are grazing so if i just make that structure uh, to understand how the leg or the fore and the hind limb appear let me raise this part and draw that so it was like this is the third digit that we are talking about the second and fifth this is the second and this side would be the fifth are highly reduced and which we call the splint bones and it is only the third digit in the fore limbs as well as in hind limbs are functional so when we are talking of evolution of horses because all these fossils were found in complete uh, shape that is why we are able to uh, trace the lineage of horses and same has been done in case of elephants also and camels also so these kind of fossil studies also help us in evolution process or understanding of evolution process and that comes under paleontological